as you know, like a March is a really good looking operating system. <clears throat> it's like they riced it. It's fantastic. It's high planned and all this kind of stuff. And you can theme it and they, you know, you can change the fonts. It's really sort of manageable or lovely. Soon, but there was something I, like me. I love a good wallpaper. I love a good desktop wallpaper. I don't know why. I don't know. It's just, and there's so many of them, isn't there? There's like tons. And in the last update, they gave you the, and I can't pronounce it, Atheta, where you can create a theme from a particular background that matches, which is great. I think I showed that in another video. Anyway, so I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, I've got all these workspaces and I've got the same wallpaper. And I thought, well, I don't know. As I move around, I know it's sort of, you can do this on Mac. Wouldn't it be great if you could have a different wallpaper in every single um, workspace? Now you can't, I don't think you can do that. So I had to write a script to, to do this. So what I'll do, I'm going to show you my sort of um, multi workspace wallpaper thing. It's got a few rough edges and you have to do, I don't want to like tweak too much with it to break it. And I'd imagine when they do another update, you may have to reinstall it to get it to work. Anyway, so I'll just take you through it. I'll put the link in the bottom to the script. And then someone keeps asking me about my thumbnails, my videos. I'll post a, a, li a, a link to a load of them that I've done and probably the thumbnail for this as well. And I'll do it with the Amarchi logo on and without. So you can take your, not, not the big logo, the one that I always put onto the screens. So you can have those and have a, have a field day with them. Anyway, I'll, I'll, that's the preamble done as usual. So let's dive in. Right, so here we are, and we've got a beautiful desktop. We've got the this is Tokyo Night, I think, and you can change the you can change the um, background really easily. You just press Control Super Space, and it takes you through. But when I go to Super Two, or so I am on Super Two, Super One's um, OBS High, Super Two, Super Three, Super Four, Super Five, Super Six, Super Seven, all the way down, it's exactly the same wallpaper. Now I know that when you start to launch stuff it goes full screen and it tiles and things like that but not always you get floating windows and I mean you know if you learn, launch Steam it sits in the middle there and you know you bounce between these these different white spaces so I thought okay okay let's let's build something that does that it's got a few caveats but I'll, I'll explain those and I will we'll, we'll work through them so you can do what you want with this I mean if you, you like me and you're obsessed with the paper. so Let's install it first of all. So, because it's got a download of view dependencies. So I've got, let's do this, super F files. And then I've got super K for console, which is, I have set that up because I use console. Uh, this only works, I think, with Alacrity, which is the default terminal in here. I jump into console because I just like to use it. I'm not sure if it works with Kitty or Ghosty or whatever the other one is. Anyway, so go into my downloads folder and there's my Amarchi script. So standard routine chmod plus x to make it give it permissions to run uh, there and then drag the script over and then it will run password and if i'm connected to the internet he says yeah i am it will pull down all the bits and it gives you a launch of Marchi Workspace app version 8. <laughs> it's got a mess that there's some coding still in here that I didn't remove. And then there's a fallback background. Okay, so it's installed. So let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then you will find the app in here. So Omarchi Workspace wallpaper. And it's a TUI. And how many workspaces do I want to use? So I'm going to do five. Now, where you need to, you need to do this, you need to put your pictures in the picture folder. So I've got this one. So I'm going to have that bird on the beach is number one. And then number two, I'm going to have that one. And I don't think these are designed for like high resolution images on here. So this is what we're getting. That one. Uh, five, I'll have the lighthouse. And it's done. Now, nothing's happened. This needs a reboot now. So what I'm going to have to do is come out, reboot, and then come back in again to get this to work. So I will see you in a second. OK, so I'm back and I'm now in Workspace 2. It basically, the first time you, you touch um, 
your workspace, it will change. So now three, four, five, six, back to the beginning. So as I go through each of the workspaces, it will change. There you go. So you can have a different one, a different, a different one. I don't know if anybody wants that. I, it just amuses me. So you can have up to 10, but what you've got to do, you've got to put your images in here. Uh, where are we? Let's go to, you've got to go to uh, uh, pictures, put all your images in here. Oh, that's, didn't, don't like that, probably move that to trash. And then you can, you can plumb them in. Now, you may get bored. You may think, oh, I need to change that. So let's just jump in again and let's change them. So what are we on? So workspace one is Omachi. And workspace one is OBS. Workspace two is that one. Okay. So now what I need to do, I need to go in and run my app. So we go Amarchi works workspace wallpapers. So I'm going to do five. Okay. And now I'm going to have the uh, plants with a table on is number one. I'm going to put whale shark with people on it is two. That one three. That one is four. And that one is five. Now, because we've, we've rebooted it, it works straight away. So now you go to three, four, four, four. Hang on. There we go. One, two, three, four. Have I done that twice? Let me do it again. Love it when a demo goes wrong. Let's just do this probably. Amarchi. And I'll, there's a small error there. You can see right five. So number one is the whale shark. Number two is the people with the patio table. Number three is the clouds. Number four is the dock. And number five is that one. Right, so I'm in number three. Number two, that's right, three, four, five. There you go. Now, if you do get, if you notice, there's a sort of weird thing as you go between them. And what happens is you get, if I change the normal wallpaper back to like an another, a marchy one, right back to that, and then I go back to my next workspace, it sort of appears in a, as a ghosting in the background. You see that? So you can get around this really easily. So if I go, if I just, if you don't want that, that thing, I can't get rid of it. I spent ages trying to get rid of it. It's something to do the transition. So you can do this. If you go to apps and then it's called Pinter, and you've got a default white page. So choose a color that you can use as your as your background that you want. I'm going to use white. And then you go save. And I'm going to save it into I'm going to add black. Okay, save. But you can have any color what sort of matches your, your theme. So I've saved that in there. Let's close that down. Let's go into here and I put it into pictures tonight. So copy. And you, what you need to do, you need to view all your files, show hidden files, home, and you need to let me put that on a list. You need to drill down into config. You need to go into a uh, marchy. You need to go into the themes. And I've got Tokyo Night, so you do this in the theme that you're using. And then I go into the backgrounds and I paste that in there. Okay, that blank JPEG. All right, so what we can now do is come out of this. If I now change the wallpaper, that one, that white one. Now my transitions will be better. Two, three. You see, they have white in between it. So you want to choose something that sort of matches. Otherwise, you get that pulse. So you can, you know, depending on your theme, six. There's my sharks. I'd choose a blue if you're doing a blue theme. Anyway, okay, back to one. And then back to me. So there you go. Have a play with that. I mean, I was just because I like wallpapers and I like it's really beautifully coloured. The arch is a you know, beautiful thing. It's really nicely done. You can fiddle with the fonts. I haven't even played with what you can do with um, changing the themes. I could do that right now, actually. Let's see what happens if I change a the theme and then with my wallpaper in there. I haven't done this live, so this could go badly wrong for me. Let's go back to me on top. Let's go to Space 2. OK. Now, let's change the theme. 
So we're in here. Let's go to the style. Let's change the theme to flex a light. That one. What happens now? Two, three. It still goes, yeah, okay. But you see that base wallpaper in the background? So you'd need to jump in and put something in there for the transition. Because that's pretty strong, that background. I suppose you could just do this, couldn't you? You could have like, you could have that one. And then we have a marching flash up all the time. But you could put your one in there. I mean, I would recommend, you know, just to go back to Tokyo Night. So back into here, uh, theme. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Style. Theme. Tokyo Night. Okay, let's find my generic wallpaper. That one. Then I can move around my spaces. And I've got my beautiful backgrounds. So in Workspace 5. And back to me. There we go. Yeah, so I hope that's of use to somebody. Sorry, I'm tinkering with this thing. I just like every I keep seeing things I want to tweak. And you know, you've got so much access to this screen. You it's like you, I know people, a lot of the, the bearded gatekeepers, I'm a bearded gatekeeper, but these Linux dudes are like saying you haven't earned the right to use um, Arch and all this whatever. But it makes you learn doing this. Having a march, it gives you, takes you like 70% of the way in the door. You've got it. And now you go, oh, I can tweak that. And how do you work it? And now I've already built a script link up the top there where you can back up your configs, things like that. So you can experiment. And I think as David states, stated, David, David Henneman Hansen, who sort of was the guy behind this, it's a starting point to make what you want. I mean, you can see by me, I've already like, I don't use what's built in there. I use console, I use K, I use different stuff, but it all blends into this and it's it's just great. It's really good. So there you go. I'll put the link in there. I'll put, as I said at the beginning, I'll put a pack of, because someone asked for them, the, the thumbnails I use in my videos, I'll put a load of those up. You can download those and set them up to your, your, your themes. But have a play with it. I mean, it's like everything I make, it's like prototype beta. It's just bash script. So if you drag that script that I've made into ChatGPT or Claude or something, you can probably make it better. Um, you can do more things with it, you know? And uh, yeah, but I mean, I would recommend if you play with my toys, play with this kind of stuff, it's like have a spare drive. I'd always do this on a spare drive until I get it working and I can put it on my main installation and have a good play with it, see if it doesn't break anything. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's a prototype, but have a check, have a play and, and um, let me know in the comments how you get on with it. Um, anyway, as usual, thanks for watching.